I didn't realize that puddle was so big. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. I had no idea that puddle was so big. Are you just f***ing soaked right now? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Good morning. Dude, my jaw instantly dropped. I was like, oh. Welcome to Jurassic Park, or should I say, the coast of Maine. This is it, we're here. I've never been on a mission like this before. I'm actually very excited. It might take a bit to kind of figure out where we need to hone in and drop in to different areas, but I'm excited. We've got two rods, a bag full of gear, the camera, myself, Caleb, and just look at this scenery. It legitimately feels like we are in a movie setting right now. It's pretty incredible. I'm excited to bring you guys along with and share the experience. Let's not waste another moment. Let's get out there and start casting. <laughs> this is so sick. <laughs> this is incredible. Here, let's go down there. Let's get out of the road. She's a bit cranky this morning. Let's go make a cast. Years ago, I traveled all the way to a beautiful place called Australia, met up with a old friend by the name of Cavi and Briggsy. And what they did was they introduced a genre and style of fishing that I will never forget, and that is land-based saltwater fishing, fishing off the rocks. It is such a different perspective when you're on a boat casting to the rocks opposed to being on the rocks casting to the fish. It's very much more raw and it's a lot more sporting and fun. Ever since that trip and that endeavor, I've often thought to myself, like, I really wish that I could do that again, that I wish that I could go back to that, that scene on the rocks in Australia and make a cast at Saltwater Fish. And then it dawned on me, I'm in probably one of the best states to do that, not even realizing that the entire coast of Maine is pretty much made up of huge rocks. And of course, there's tons of amazing saltwater species that you can catch that are just right there on the edge of the coast. Oh boy. This is wicked. We've dropped in at a couple little zones thus far. No bait, no bites. It's uh, pretty immaculate though. This view is distracting to say the least. I'm having to kind of remind myself to look at my lure on the surface opposed to this beautiful landscape that we have. This is top 10 and probably one of the most epic places I've ever fished. If only we could come tight on a, on a nice stripey boy. Oh, it's heavy. There we go, I'm on. There we go. What a fish. What the f oh, no, help. What a fucking hell. Doesn't look like the rain is letting up anytime soon. We've probably got another hour and a half until this system clears us. I've been jumping around the rocks like a little fiddler crab for the past three hours, and now we're blessed with this. Not giving up though. This is gonna be a challenge, and it's a challenge I'm willing to, uh, to accept. Although, we can't really film in this stuff because it tends to destroy camera gear. With that being said, we're gonna take you guys to a, a nice little local restaurant, a place that serves probably one of the more well-known fairs here in Maine, that being lobster. There is no place where you can't get lobster in Maine, and uh, this is a joint that I've actually never eaten at before, so we're gonna get out of the rain, stay dry for a little bit, wait for it to pass, and then come up with a new game plan to hopefully get our first fish of the day on the rocks. Can I do a uh, mayo lobster roll, please? Sure. Um, no lettuce on that. If you come to Maine and you do a bit of fishing, it's important to take a break. Get off the water for a second. There's probably a million places around here, especially on the coast, to get a lobster roll. The way to do it, in my opinion, cold on a hot bun with mayo. 
teach their own whatever style you like. If you like it fried, if you like it with hot butter, that's, that's on you. But this is the correct way to get a lobster roll. We're cowering away from the rain. I'm gonna enjoy this, uh, this mega roll and hopefully get back on it and catch some fish. It's been a struggle. This weather is so fishy, but there's just no fish to be caught or seen. I don't know what the deal is. We're not giving up though. We got a falling tide right now. Sometimes that can be good, especially with a lot of water in some of these smaller systems. But for now, let's enjoy some, some grub, some much needed grub. That is really good. Just crushed some lobster rolls. I'm not gonna lie, that was probably one of my favorite lobster rolls I've ever eaten. Gotta give a huge shout out to Archie's in, uh, where are we, Southwest Harbor, I think we were at. Pretty inexpensive lobster roll, especially in an area where tourism jacks up the prices, but that was insane. I think it gave us the fuel that we need to get back out in the water and do some casting. I was on Google Maps, I found a couple spots. I'm hoping that this rain stays like this or completely stops so we have ourselves a window to get a striped bass. I've never worked so hard for a striped bass. This is. This is definitely a challenge. We're back on it. Just crushed a mega lobster roll, much needed. I'm feeling a little more amped up now. The sun is out, it's burned away the clouds and the rain. Weather's looking good, we've got a solid tide right now. I got both my rods in my bag. See if we can make it happen. Still have yet to find or see a single striped bass, but I got confidence in this little roadside spot. We are at spot number, I believe this is four. It's a little bit different. It's still pretty rocky over here, but it uh, it's kind of farther up into, into mainland. And we're kind of in a bay. There should be a bit more moving water. In this specific area, there's kind of a, a choke point where there's a bridge and there's a lot of water being concentrated through here into one little saltwater pond from the main bay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven anglers over here. I don't think I've ever seen this many anglers in Maine. I know people fish down here, but this is, this is insane. So I think the move is to fish that way, but also too, like this whole side to the left isn't even getting touched. All right, let's give it a shot. We're dropping in. That was quick. That was quick. Just got the first bite of the day. Literally first cast. First cast. I'm gonna have to go on that rock. That was awesome. Oh, that's a good sign. Right in the slack water over here. All right, we're going with the boots. I'm gonna hopefully not get strained on this rock because the tide is coming up. But you gotta risk it sometimes. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can see that out in the distance, but there's some birds working. That is something you always want to see when you're saltwater fishing, or I guess just fishing in general. You want to see birds getting anxious right above the water. It means there's probably fish below the surface that are pushing bait fish all the way to the top. And ultimately it means that it's time to throw a top water. Oh yeah, I got hit, I just got hit, I just got hit. Yeah, 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 oh, 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 come on. They're little schoolies, I'll take them though. They're all over me. I'm on, I'm on, let's go, baby. I'm on. Finally, ooh, dude, this is not a school. This is a good fish. This is a good fish, dude. This is actually a good fish. Oh, we're hooked up, baby. It has been a long day of fishing, but we finally made it happen. We are tight. Let's go. Oh, wow, B bait busting. Fish busting on bait out there. It's just why you gotta keep fishing, never stop. Maybe a, a nice little lobster break here and there, but you just gotta keep fishing. Wait for that tide to turn, look for the birds. Keep throwing around different plastics. Mess around with different top waters. It's a decent fish. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Let's go. I'm gonna try to keep him pinned. It's a good fish. Good fish, dude. Good fish. Like a good one. Oh my god, dude, it's a nice one. It's a nice striper. Definitely one of my biggest land based striper in Maine for sure. Oh look, the birds are diving right in front of us. This is going off. This is going off. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. Quality main striped bass. 
not a slouch at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, 30 inch all day. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. That's a good fish, dude. Look at the size of that one. <laughs> Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. I'm gonna bring him up here. Dude, look at that fish. Got him. <laughs> look at that striped bass, baby. This, this right here is why you fish off the rocks. That is definitely my biggest main land-based fish ever. <laughs> hey man, we didn't give up. It was all worth it. Holy hell, that's a giant. That's probably close to, I wish I had a tape with me. It's probably close to a 35 inch fish. One hook in her too. This is such a good fish. Literally my first time fishing down here. We gave it, we gave it a try and let me tell you, it paid off. Wow, I cannot believe that just happened. We legitimately went from not seeing a single piece of bait all day to catching this absolute Atlantic beast. There's fish busting everywhere, so we're gonna get this behemoth back and keep fishing. Here she goes. Ooh. Dude, on the rocks, doing it the Cavian Briggsy way. I also don't wanna like boast or anything, but everyone's fishing over here right now. I, don't, I have not seen a single person come tight. We're at the end of the current, everyone's fishing the fast stuff, but these bigger fish like the slower moving water. And uh, we also just follow the, the birds. If the birds are over here, we're over here. Let's keep casting. That'll get your freaking blood pumping, dude. <laughs> Look how strong these fish are. I can barely bend this hook back myself. Throwing this pencil popper, I'll leave this link down below if you guys wanna get into striped bass fishing and you're doing a lot of land-based stuff. This is a good one to throw because it's got a lot of a weight in the tail. So you can absolutely bomb that bait super far out there and cover a ton of water, which is always important for striped bass fishing. Um, my rod, it's an eight foot, like small surf cast rod. It's not really a surf cast rod. It's like, it's like an in-between rod. It's, it's good for fishing off the boat, but then also uh, fishing from the bank. And my reel is a 4,000 size spinning reel. There we go, I'm on, there we go, I'm on. Good one, about time, another one. Another one. Good head shakes. Good head shakes. Good head shakes. Don't know if he's as big as the last one, but it's a quality fish. There's just something about catching fish, big fish that is, from the bank. Oh, he just spit hooks. Something about losing fish from the bank, I should say. <laughs> There's something about hooking into big saltwater fish from the bank that makes it a completely different game. From the boat, it's obviously, of course, fun and exciting, but. When you do it from the shore, it's like you're limited. Like your two feet are planted on the ground and you are at the will of that fish. Just nonstop, hectic top water action on light spinning gear, light or light ish spinning gear. Oh, there we go. Good one, dude. Good one, good one, good one, good one, good one. This is a 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 little bit better fish. I can't tell if it's a good one or I just got him hooked funny. These are pretty nice head shakes though. Come here, bud. Oh, we're hooked up. I wanted one more freaking fish before we head out and this tide goes completely slack. This might be my chance. Oh, I don't know how big this is. I got it on a shorter rod, so maybe it just feels heavier. We're about to find out. Not as big as the first one, but a quality little schoolie. It's hilarious how these little schoolies will just crush a big nine inch bait like that. They do not care. <laughs> Instantly, man, as soon as that thing got the water, we were hooked up. Nice fish. This is kind of the size that I expected to catch today. Not necessarily that one we started off with. Come here. I think you're done. I think you're done, cuz. You're done. Always sketchy dealing with big troubles with these fish. There we go. Hook is out. Fish number two of the day. How to go zero to hero. You just wait on that tide, grab a lobster roll, and keep casting. Nice fish. Quality, definitely top tier schoolie. Thanks for the fight, man. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> the way that fish struck, I was like, that's actually a good one because it was just digging with the head shakes, but came in way too fast. A big, like 50 inch, 45 inch fish, which would be rare in this system, but is very possible. She'd be to the hills. It's it's crazy how much of a difference there is between like a, a, like a high 30, low 40 and like a mid 40, high 40 inch fish. Just the way they fight, the way they eat and how difficult it is to catch a fish like that, especially from the bank. We still have tide ripping in here. We got a couple more minutes left. Let's make the most of it. We are eating today. Caught so many fish in Cape Cod Canal with this thing. Yeah. It's about this wide across. Uh, a little bit wider actually. Oh my God. 
good one. We'll let him take some line out. I'm not gonna hold him like I did that last one. Oh, doubles. <laughs> nice. I don't know how good this fish is, but it feels nice. He's going down current, which is usually contingent of a nice fish. Let's go, baby. Woo! That is so much fun. It's not giant. It's a good one, though. It's good fun on the eight foot. <laughs> Come here, bud. Come here. A lot of fun on the long cast. When you get a bite on your first couple of twitches on a giant cast like that, it's gonna be a ride, whether it be small or medium or big. That's a little bit better than the last one, I think. Quality striped bass, another one. It seems like the big ones kind of moved out, but they're still about this size hanging out in here. We're gonna get a quick shot and send her back. What a beautiful day of fishing. Need some help? Send this guy back. Ready? Oh god, they're, they're firing. Ready? Send them back. They're firing right in front of me, killed. Firing right in front of me. Birds are everywhere. They're firing right in front of me. Might double up here. My drag's super loose, I just realized. Oh, they're busting now. Last last minute feed, last minute feed window. Dude, they're coming right up to the bank right now. This water's really, oh, there we go, I'm on. Ooh, that one feels decent. That one feels decent. Come on, buddy. Decent fish. It's crazy, you'll have like a complete dead zone. Like not a single peep on the surface. You throw a swim bait down there, nothing. And then all of a sudden, the surface will just erupt. The birds come in and then you have yourself a nice little window. That's why it's important to kind of stick around even during those lull periods because those fish can always come back or they're just not feeding. And then uh, the current brings in some glass minnows or some bunker or some crabs, and then they turn back on again. This guy's not very big. We're gonna get a quick release on him and see if we can get another giant. Oh my gosh, a little schoolie. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. This fish on like a little seven foot would be fun, but on that eight foot, it just you gotta winch him in and keep going for the beggings. I'm trying to get a hook on my leg. Quick look, send her back. Thank you for playing, old girl. Oh, wow, look at the current now. It is just gushing over here. Ready, killed? At least you're right in front of us. See you, girl. We're gonna get your big sister. Dude, you should see the 10-foot rod I have. That thing could literally touch the other side of the Oh, I got one. Thing. Yep, there we go. Little guy. Hooked up again. Hooked up again. Now, if you want to have a fun, grab an eight foot rod, some light line, a plug, and pick the right tide and just go crush them. We're like right about to hit slack here in a second. I know it may not look like it, but we're about to hit slack. The highest tide of the day. The current just brings in bait and the striper are going to stick around. They're not going to leave. They love this. Those are big boy. Nah, little guy. Just threw some weight. Another good one. Oh, another good one. <laughs> nice little schoolie, got the rod in between my legs, a little in the schoolie, in the water with my boots. By the way, these aren't wading boots, I'm in my boat boots. Absolutely soaked, but it's all worth it. Send her back. Mm -hmm. Thank you for playing, old girl. Oh, I love the way they swim off, man. They're like stripey little ghosts on that light sand. Oh, well, there's still fish here, let's keep casting. This has literally not even been touched yet. Oh my god, you're giant, giant, giant. I got him, giant, 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 giant. Giant, 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 dude, giant, absolute giant. Absolute giant. Cannot lose this fish, absolute giant. Oh my god, this is a big one. This is a 40 inch all day. It's a 40 inch all day. What's up, yeah. Oh my god, 40 inch all day. Holy Swimming in the current, swimming up current right now, dude. This fish is swimming up current. Holy It's a giant. I think we have that elusive 40 on. It's a big fish. If it's not 40, it's close, dude. This thing's huge. I'm gonna try to horse her in. There is a ton of bombies and rocks out there. It's a good fish. I haven't felt this power in a long time, probably since the Cape Cod Canal video. There she is. Oh my God, it's a giant. It's a big one. I'm not gonna say anything just yet. I'm gonna keep praying. Hopefully she stays on. She's swimming in the current. She's fighting the current right now. That is how powerful this fish is. Ate it, nipped it once, and then killed it the second time. I think it's a good one. Man, it freaking pulled it first. I haven't seen her yet. 
Oh, I don't even think it's that big. He's not even that big, it's just powerful fish. We'll take him though. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, absolutely choked it. Look how that fish ate. That's actually a good one. That's a lot bigger than I thought. Probably a 30 incher for sure. Look how that fish ate the popper. Wow. Not a very long one, but this is a heavy fish. Probably high teens all day. Oh my gosh. Look at that bass, man. Look at that freaking bass. Beautiful. This is why we woke up bright and breezy, came out here and made it happen. Definitely the second biggest fish of the day. Very tall, not very long. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at all that power, dude. That is a fish that does not around. Put it there. Let's keep cranking. It looks so good. Oh yeah, I definitely have awesome. Come on. Good one. 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 I was gonna say that looks too good not to get eaten. Swimming up current. Ooh, it might be a might be a feisty one. Swimming up current. What are you doing some up current, bro? Just keep me out of the rocks, please. Oh yeah, good one. Good one. Good one. <laughs> little striped submarines. You gotta be you gotta kinda horse them in a little bit just because all these rocks and these bombies all over the place. And then also the kelp too, they get you in the kelp. You imagine if a 40 plus inch fish gets you in that, your heart's gonna sink. Seems like everyone's cleared out of here. We're pretty much the only ones fishing. Still catching them. Here she goes. There we have it. Our final stripey boy of the day. What a fun mission. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. It's been a lot of fun, kind of changing it up. I'm very blessed to have some very nice boats that we can go just about anywhere with, but there is something so pure and raw about just stepping on the bank, casting some big plugs out in the abyss and catching some very powerful Atlantic striped bass. We're gonna head back to Camp Claw now. We're gonna cut this, uh, cut this session short because it is 4th of July and we're gonna spend some time with some family. Gonna have some white claws, probably gonna guzzle down a couple of red snappers. Always good to have a couple of red snappers on 4th of July, but I'm not gonna lie, wieners, it feels so good to end the day on a freaking high note. Let's uh, head back to Camp Claw, celebrate with a drink and some glizzies. Meet you there. Well, wieners, that was a mission success. We're back at Camp Claw celebrating our successful striper mission. Happy 4th of July. Today we're gonna celebrate America on a bang by having a couple of uh, milky margaritas, lighting some fireworks, and just enjoying the beautiful Northwoods of Maine. Thank you for watching. Drop a comment if you like today's video and we'll make it happen again. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. You want to hold it? <laughs> Oh, this is scary. Baby. <laughs>